What is up, bros and brats? I'm Slasher 44 and today I'm going to be making a video of five ways to improve at Black Ops 3. And the reason why I'm making this today is because in the next couple days, a lot, a lot of people are going to be getting Black Ops 3. We call them the Christmas noobs, so maybe this should be called five ways to improve the Christmas noobs. Because um, when people first get the game at Christmas and people have already been playing this game for months, they are at a huge lack of information. And basically, information is power when it comes to Call of Duty. That's why I make so many weapon guide videos and just talking about general strategy. This one is going to kind of summarize the overlying main points that I kind of insinuate throughout many of my videos and put them all into one big compilation. So... The first thing coming in at number five is the guns. Know the power weapons. If you know the power weapons and the weapons that you are good at, you will succeed extremely well. A couple of the weapons that are very, very good no matter what are the M8A7. It is the last assault rifle you unlock. And then there's a couple of SMGs that you can pretty much always good with. The VMP and the Vesper are very good and they're guns you can do very, very well with on any map. However, the best SMG of all is the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh is is the best SMG, but it also takes the most amount of skill because you need to be very accurate with it. Same kind of goes with the assault rifles. The Shiva is another really good assault rifle, but you need to be accurate. So if you have faith in your accuracy in the game, give those weapons a tryout. As far as shotguns and snipers go, if you're a new player, I don't suggest using snipers. If you want to use a shotgun, the Argus is the way to go. So just know your power weapons and more importantly, know what weapons you are good with. And you're going to kind of see that throughout this video, knowing you, you have to really Really play to your strengths if you're a good sniper don't listen to my advice pick up that sniper and use it but you have to know what you are good with so number four is sensitivity now this is something that i see so many call of duty youtubers telling you completely wrong information um there is a new thing in black ops 3 you can adjust your horizontal and vertical sensitivity um, this is incredibly important because no matter what, no matter what your sensitivity is, you're going to want your vertical sensitivity to be lower than your horizontal sensitivity. So generally, if you're a new player, move your sensitivity up to five. That is the middle sensitivity, and it's a little bit harder to play there on a low sensitivity, but it will improve you as soon as you get used to it. Reason being... This is a very fast moving game. People can move very fast and move very fast horizontally. Being able to move your crosshairs faster horizontally than vertically will not only improve your aim, but help you snap onto target because people are going to be moving faster horizontally. It's that simple. That is why I put my horizontal sensitivity too higher than my vertical. Generally, I think most people stick with one, but I find two is very useful. I believe I use seven horizontal uh, sensitivity and five vertical. However, if you like that really high sensitivity, use that. If you like a really low sensitivity, use that. Just make sure that horizontal one is higher than the vertical one. That is the main tip I'm giving here. That being said, know yourself. If you like the low sensitivity, stick with that. If you like the high sensitivity, stick with that. Next up, opening routes, and this one's a bit of a tricky one, because opening routes can mean a few different things. So, generally off the start of a game, you want to run an opening route to somewhere that gives you an advantage over the enemies. This is incredibly important, and the most important open opening route of the game. And really, this is only extremely important on Search and Destroy, because always the opening route will be from your team's spawn. However, there is many different spawn points that you're going to get used to throughout this game because there, you can only spawn in certain areas. What I'm talking about here is by knowing the spawns, you're going to know how to get to different power positions from every single spawn you spawn into, no matter where you are on any given map. So part of this is knowing the spawns, part of this is knowing the maps, and knowing the differences between the two to be able to give yourself a better route. The next thing is kind of it ties into opening routes is know the maps. Know the maps is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly important, but not only knowing the maps, knowing how they play on different game modes and when you're playing different styles of people. Some people playing really like to rush. Their spawns are going to change a lot and change the way the map plays. Other people like to sit back, use snipers, use assault rifles, and kind of stick with where their team is spawning. If they're doing that, the spawns are going to flip very much at 
all. So knowing the maps and knowing the power positions on maps is incredibly, incredibly important. Now, what is a power position? One of two things. Either a power position is a really good head glitch that looks over a wide area or upper ground. In any shooter game, if you are on higher ground, it is a positive thing because they will see less of your body than you see of theirs. Therefore, you have a bigger target to shoot at. That simple. That all comes with knowing the maps because head glitches are very important and so is being in higher ground. The final thing, the final and most important thing about Black Ops 3 is the movement mechanics. If you don't know all the movement mechanics, they put this awesome thing in Black Ops 3 called Free Run Mode. Go in that mode and learn the goddamn movement mechanics because if you don't, you will just get shit on because once you've mastered these movement mechanics, you can move faster, better, and longer. So real quickly, I just want to tell you the fastest way to move and no, I'm not talking about the G slide. It's very hard to do and we're talking about tips for beginners here. Um, so there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, sprinting, always important in any single Call of Duty game to get two gunfights and to get away from them. Now there's another way to move just as fast as sprinting and it's wall running. I, I believe you run a little bit faster while ra wall running. Some people say you don't. I think you do. So anytime I'm really close to a wall, I'm going to be wall running. It's, it's just that simple. And also... Enemies don't always expect you to be on the wall where they generally expect you to be running through flank routes. So there's always that like kind of surprise aspect to it too. But the fastest way to move is actually sliding. So a lot of the time you're going to see me when I go through doorways or I know someone's on the uh, other side of a door, I slide through it because it's harder to shoot me while I'm sliding and I can try to pop onto target as I am sliding. So that's very, very important to know. Now these are very basics and there is, is more advanced things like the G-slide and if you'd like to see me do a video on that, let me know in the comment section below. Speaking of comments, let me know. What do you think the most important thing to learn in Call of Duty is? Let me know in the comment section below. Check me out on Twitter link in the description and subscribe for new call of duty videos every single day i hope you guys enjoyed if you did it would be fantastic if you could hit that like button i would be very very appreciative for that thanks for watching and until next time guys peace out